Okay, first things first, Happy New Year. And uh, secondly, props to the Baylor Bears for defeating the Washington Huskies. You guys beat us fair and square. Um, it was a shootout, and you guys made more plays than we did, which is kind of odd considering you scored 67 points and the Huskies scored 56. But that's beside the point. Um, I did film a video after the game, but I didn't like it, so I didn't upload it to the vid uh, I didn't upload it to the net. Um, a lot has happened within the last couple of days, so here's a combination of a recap of the Alamo Bowl and the final thoughts of the Huskies and them moving forward. First off, the Alamo Bowl. Like pretty much everybody else, at one point I felt like I was watching an arena football game. Just instead of it being played in the same dimensions as a hockey rink, I was watching it on an actual football field. Uh, defense from both teams was atrocious. and. The, the one thing that kind of bothered me after the game, and not so much anymore, um, because I think it's kind of evened out since the dust has kind of settled a little bit, but everybody was saying how terrible Washington's defense was and how RG3, uh, Robert Griffin III, was, uh, you know, just romped all over them and that type of deal. Um, I heard this on ESPN, um, not necessarily ESPN Seattle, but I heard this mainly on ESPN. And then uh, as the dust, and I thought, well, wait a minute. Yeah, the Huskies defense was terrible, but so was Baylor's. I mean, the 12th ranked team in the country just gave up 56 points um, to the fourth best team in the Pac-12. I mean, hello. And uh, slowly but surely, that's starting to even out. So I'm kind of happy about that. But uh, overall, just uh, from a Huskies perspective, just not very good defense. And after the game, I did say, I did say you know what? I, I've stood by Nick Holt. I have said that, um, you know, I've been saying, kind of giving him the benefit of the doubt because even though our defense uh, has been uh, questionable throughout the second half of the season, I've been saying, well, we're still winning. And as long as we're winning, there's nothing really much you can, <laughs> what can you say about the defense? I mean, as long as you win, that's ultimately what matters, right? But after that loss, I said, you know what, it is time to make a change at the defensive coordinator position. And lo and behold, that's what's happened. Nick Holt has been uh, dismissed. Um, I do feel bad for the guy. I do. Uh, it, because as a guy who has lost a job, I mean, I can only imagine what what's going through his mind right now. Uh, we've also got uh, dismissed our uh, safety uh, safety coaches and a lot of uh, a lot of our coaching staff. Uh, but then again, I thought that uh, Steve Sarkeesian um, d made the right decision. And I think um, we're now at the point where we're going to bowl games consecutive years. Now it's a matter of what. Uh, what level of bowl games are we going to and winning the bowl games? And I'm really happy that we're at that expectation, uh, consider, uh, those expectations considering we are uh, only a few years removed from 2008 when we went 0-12. So that's a good thing. Um, also, just kind of to close out the game, offensively, we look spectacular. And I think, um, I really do think if we can get our troubles on defense, um, you know, solved, I really think this team could be a force um, because if we if our offense can play like that and continue to be successful like we were this year and we just solve our defensive issues, we're going to be a team to reckon with. And I th and I think the Alamo Alamo Bowl showed where our offense um, is and where it ha how much it has grown from uh, 2000 uh, from last year to this year. So um, so very happy about that. Um, so that's pretty much what I got for the Alamo Bowl and for the defensive situation. As far as the season goes, despite losing the Alamo Bowl and technically speaking, finishing with a 7-6 and six record, I still think that it was a successful season to be, uh, you know, for, for the Huskies. Um, there's a lot of optimism going through, uh, going toward next year. Um, you know, we've gone from being kind of the doormats of the Pac-12 to into the middle class. Of the Pac-12. Um, this year, what we learned, and uh, that, you know, this is this is okay, but this year we learned that we are not good enough to compete with the top 25. Uh, five of our six losses were against the uh, were, were against top 25 opponents. And if you're going to lose, as much as I don't like to say this, you might as well lose to the top teams. You might as well. And at the time we played USC, they were ranked. Um, so. Uh, that being said, uh, we have shown that we can take care of business uh, against the teams we're supposed to take care of business, um, which is why um, I believe that it was a successful season because we didn't necessarily do those things the year before. Yeah, we got some some breaks here and there, but you know what what team doesn't get breaks? 
Um, going into next year, though, it's going to be uh, the expectations are going to be the highest ever with Steve Sarkeesian's uh, in the Steve Sarkeesian's regime. Um, the expectations for me next year is going to win is is to win eight regular season games. Again, I've preached progression. I've preached progression how many times on here. Um, but in order for me to see progression, we are going to have to win eight ball games. Meaning, we're going to have to sneak up on a team like an Oregon, like a Stanford, like a USC, you know, pretty much like a top 25 opponent. We're going to have to to beat a team that is up in the in the upper third of the Pac-12 or take down a huge non-conference opponent, and that's going to be difficult. That's going to be extremely difficult, and it's because of that why, it, regardless if we go to a bowl game or not, if we don't get eight regular season victories, I can see some people thinking, all right, does Steve Sarkeesian still have it in him right now? Because he's in the upside, he's had the cushion, he took a program that was down in the dumps, and now he's still rising up, but now he's starting to get to the point where the expectations are really high. And uh, there's going to be way more pressure on this program to be successful. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all, considering where the program was, you know, four years, uh, four years ago, you know, today. So, I mean, overall, I still like Steve, Steve Sarkeesian. I think he's got, you know, I think he's making the right decisions in terms of his coaching staff and what he's done with the program. Um, it's just, it's the expectations are going to be very, very high the, this upcoming year, um, this this season coming up. So. Um, Another blow to the Huskies. Uh, this just broke. Uh, Chris Polk will not be returning to the Huskies. We're gonna we're gonna have to look for another running back. But heck, if our offense is as good as it was in the Alamo Bowl, I really could see another running back. You know, maybe not as good as Chris Polk, but can still do just enough to keep that offense moving. Um, and that's pretty much all I got about the dogs. Overall, you know, the Alamo Bowl and the second half of the season was a disappointment. But we met my expectations, and there's still reasons to be optimistic about this team. Um, you know, there's there's a pile of reasons to be optimistic. We're, we are constantly, I, I know that people are saying, well, Wazoo got Mike Leach as their head coach. That's going to change the recruiting battle. But you know what? Steve Sarkeesian keeps, put, uh, keeps putting up the right decisions. He keeps making the right decisions for the program. And he made some difficult decisions within the last few days in terms of uh, firing his friend Nick Holt. And I think that if he's got a head on his shoulders, he's ultimately doing his job as the University of Washington's uh, uh, football coach. So, uh, you know, seven and five in the regular season, I will take that. I will take the bowl appearance. And heck, I'll even take, you know, putting up 56 points against the 12th team in the nation. So, um, overall, I thought it was a successful season. But next year, next year's going to be the year. Next year, I'm, and believe me, I'm a little nervous about it. But next year's going to be the year when uh, Steve's are where people's eyebrows might start going up a little bit and say, "Okay, we're now you know four years away from 0 and 12. We've gone to bowl games, bowl games, and you know we might have to win our bowl game next year. We we might. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm happy those expectations have come up at this point because uh, you know we went from not going to any bowl games and not having any winning seasons at all to uh, to two. Uh, to two appearances in, uh, in bowl games, them being the holiday and the Alamo Bowl. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, go, uh, go dogs, and uh, we'll talk to you next season. Uh, coming up next will be my final take on the Seattle Seahawks, who finished their season yesterday. Uh, who finished their season against the Arizona Cardinals uh, last Sunday? So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you then.